Have you ever loved an eyeshadow color so much that you wish you had it in an eyeliner form? Well, I'm going to teach you how to turn any eyeshadow into eyeliner with this product here. This is called Duraline and this is from the brand Inglot. Duraline, and I quote, is a waterless clear liquid that can intensify the color of any powder and transform it into an easy to apply water resistant liquid. Now you can also use this product to um, water up, I guess, a dried out product. Like for example, if you have a mascara that you love that's dried out, you can just put a few drops in there. Or if you have a gel liner that is dried out, also put a few drops in there. And the process that I'm gonna show you is, uh, I'm gonna take a pressed eyeshadow and scrape the product off, but you can also use um, loose pigments. Loose pigments are actually perfect for this because it's already in a powder form, but since I'm using a pressed shadow, I am going to have to press, uh, scrape the product off of the eyeshadow. So right now I'm going to be using a Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow in Lovesick, and it is my favorite eyeshadow color forever. <laughs> this is like a cranberry color, and I've been looking for an eyeshadow this color for ages. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to be taking a pocket knife and gently scraping the surface of the eyeshadow. So yeah, gently scrape the surface, don't want to get too deep, and then put the product in a little mixing tray. I'm just using a leftover eyelash container that I got. And then repeat the process if you need to. how much I got. Now it doesn't look like much, but it actually is a lot of pigment. Especially with the, the Duraline. Oh, and the brush that I'm going to be using to apply my eyeliner is this craft store brush that I got from Michaels. And a lot of you guys were asking what kind of brush I used. Literally a craft store brush. A paint brush I am using on my eyes. So I'm just gonna take the tiniest drop, you really just need a little, and I put it away from the shadow, but I'm going to sweep the shadow into the product, slowly, and I'm just gonna be pressing that into that little drop that I put down, and making sure there are no clumps, and making sure that it's smooth for application. And then you're ready to apply. So ready for it. Boom! So yeah, what did I say? <laughs> Amazing, right? Eyeliner from an eyeshadow. What? And also I want to address this. On Instagram, I saw almost thousands, it well, could be thousands, thousands of girls and boys saying, why are you using clear nail polish on your eyes? And I'm gonna tell you, I did not use clear nail polish on my eyes. Duraline is not nail polish. Duraline is not nail polish. Duraline is not nail polish. So, I'm just telling you right now, Duraline is not nail polish. As you, you can ugh, what? As you can see, um, the product is already drying on my eyes, and it's drying to a matte 
finish, which I love. I love matte eyeliner. And then I'm just filling in some spaces that need to be filled in. We don't want no skin color peeking through. And this is the finished look with mascara. Now you can stop here, but of course I'm gonna put some eyelashes on. Are you crazy? Now these eyelashes I'm using are Ardell 414s and they're not as dense, they're very sparse which I like but it still gives me some length and uh, the reason why I use these is because I wanted my eyeliner to peek through and be the dominant look. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Colourpop! Okay so for the lips I'm just using this lipstick in pitch and it's like this reddish brown, chocolate brown color I should say. And that's what it looks like. Now I hope you found this tutorial helpful in some sort of way. And um, until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye!